If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, Transformational Shaman, Spiritual Coach. And today you're going to hear from one of my coaches and my co-host on the Monday episodes here at Spirit Guides. His name is Joshua Radawan. He is an amazing practitioner, coach, and he works with a lot of people doing paranormal investigations and helping them stay safe. So, so listen in. He's going to have some great thoughts for you. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. Today, I want to talk about the power of focus. Uh, I think it's really, really important, you know, especially right now. You know, it's it's an interesting time in, in society as we have really kind of evolved into this age of instant gratification, right? Like we have all of these things that are vying for our attention that that take us away from what we're trying to create in this world. And it's uh, it's really hard to create your dreams when you're energy or your focus is split in so many different directions, right? You know, like I, I, I know for myself, one of the things that's really helped, you know, the, not helped, uh, hurt my, my ability to focus is, you know, social media. Social media has been a real detriment because I, I find myself, even when I delete the app from my phone, I will just like automatically go to scroll to it. And I'm like, wow, they have really kind of got me trained in that. And I, I, I get a little upset with it when that happens. But, uh, you know, so, you know, the thing about focus is it's hard to bring our dreams into reality, our, our manifestations into reality, if we can't sit long enough to actually figure it out what it is we want, right? Like we go to what's comfortable or what's easy. And, you know, we, we find this in a, in a lot of different avenues. I can say, you know, one of the ways that I've, I've split my focus as well is in, in relationships, you know, like my relationships with people, you know, like I'm a, I am very much a person who cares about everybody that's in his circle. So, you know, but this is also a resistance to bring my own dreams into focus, right? Because I will put so much and pour so much into to others, to my clients, to to everyone that, you know, when it, when it comes down to focusing on what's good for me, I kind of drop the ball a little bit sometimes. But, uh, you know, this is, this is what the beauty of this election year taught me, of what the Lionsgate portal taught me, and what the Mercury, this Mercury retrograde here has taught me. And that is that sometimes you just have to go deeper within to find the answer right and that's that's a part of focus you know and 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 focus is how we get serious about what we're trying to bring into our lives right so it is hard to manifest anything when we are all over the place you know like you know like i i heard something a while back that it takes 28 seconds for a manifest manifestation to take form now I don't know about you, but when I can observe myself you know, in, in an analytical manner, I don't know how long I carry a thought that's 28 seconds long to something I'm that what and that which I'm trying to create, right? So it's uh it's interesting when we can look at it like that. So you know, I'll give you a few few tips of you know what I've used over the last you know I've been using these off and on, but it really got anchored in the last few months. So well, what I use is candles, right? I, I find that when I light a candle and I can just stare into that candle and I have that one center point of focus that I can really just be with that because it, it seems like there's something on the outside that is always vying for my attention. And by just, you know, becoming one with that flame, I'm able to, you know, really focus my intention into that candle and really find a piece of clarity. Sometimes it's not thinking too. Sometimes it's just being still. Right. And, and allowing so much of that mental noise and that mental chatter to, to dissipate so I can I can get and find that deeper level clarity that I'm, I'm searching for. You know, another one of this is what I, we always say, you know, manifestation. Right. You know, sitting with 
what it is we want, right? Like manifestation and meditation, you know, like being able to clear the mind and then focus on the one subject in which we are trying to create and getting real about it, like getting real about it in the, in the sense that, you know, this is what we want. So this is what needs our undivided attention. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest resistances that I've run into on my journey is I will know what it is I have to do and I will do everything except that. Um, and I, I feel like I'm not alone in that. You know, I, I, a lot of my clients have I've talked to about this, but, you know, it's the journey to find that place of focus. And, you know, meditation is huge, right? Sometimes just focusing on your breath for a while, you know, like I, I, I still count sheep, you know, like when my mind gets so overactive that I, you know, I'm, I'm doing a hundred different things at once, which, you know, I've been doing my whole life. You know, I, I just start to count sheep because it brings me just into that visualization technique of one, two three, four, and all of that other chatter kind of goes away. And when I come out of that space, I am able to focus on a deeper level. So focus is an extremely powerful tool and extremely necessary in doing magic, right? You know, it's, you know, Kelly ends the every episode with what you focus on expands and what you intend is what you create. So ask yourself, what it is, what is it you've been focusing on? And is it something that you truly want to expand? Because these are questions I have to ask myself all the time, because I, you know, in America, we tend to, you know, reach for what's not working more than what is working, right? So, you know, being able to retrain that mind through, through meditation, through the spiritual work, through the inner work, you know, this is all, this is all part of it. You know, it's, uh, I'm just kind of giving you some quick tips on what I use and, you know, some of my processes around this. So I want to say thank you for listening. Um, as you can see below, my, my name is uh, uh, Josh Radwin. If you want to contact me directly, go to j.d. Radwan, R-A-D-E-W-A-N, and find me on Facebook. That is the quickest way to get a hold of me. Um, if you just shoot me a message, shoot me a friend request, I will I will answer that as soon as I get it. And I am I'm happy to take your questions and help you along the path and in any which way I can. So thank you. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. <laughs> So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,